sorry, buddy. You were a bitch to ride, but you were our only friend in this forsaken land. So. You're now all alone in this forbidden land against these Colossus. So, I'm guessing this is the way we gotta go. No way but up, right? you have to go and do a foolish thing like that. If only you didn't dawdle around, maybe you'd be okay. But, it's too late, I guess. Can't really avenge you either, because you fell down a pit. <laughs> probably cut somewhere around the aggro fall or something like that, so I'm gonna assume I did. Come on, future self, I'm gonna I'm talking to you. I'm gonna assume that you did that because that's something that you would do. So welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with Mio X Fu and Well a bit higher than we just were, so I guess we can climb these pillars. Looks, yep, yeah, okay. Let's be careful not to fall here now. Not let aggro's sacrifice go to waste. And here we see we've got a little bit of storm brewing. Well, <laughs> and we've got a little bit of a butterfingers on our team. Come on, get up. No, I want you to jump straight up. And here we have the last Colossus. This guy is the mountain, and he is by far the most original idea that they could have ever had for a Colossus, because he's a mountain. A freaking mountain. And he is my favorite Colossus. This guy... Well, you'll see. Let's see if I can, how much I can remember of this guy. The f first part was just getting to him. Now this part is still just getting to him. Because unlike most of the other Colossi, as you can see, we're far away. But we've got to dodge all of this. Because he's going to shoot molten fireballs at us. So I'm just going to wait until he fires another one. Yep, there we go. So basically what we have to do is we have to pretend this is Grand Theft Auto 4 Gears of War and just dodge behind cover. There's also gonna be a network of tunnels leading up to him, so we're gonna we're going to take advantage of that. Now the worst part is that if you get hit, he's worse than the lion and the lion, the witch and the wardrobe combined. He's gonna send us pretty much all the way back. So you gotta be you gotta be quick about this, and you gotta know what, you gotta have a good idea of where you're going. See, he's gonna it's just sends us flying back, and usually you're not gonna have enough of time. You're not gonna have enough time to be able to get up before he'll hit you again. And you're gonna this is the Colossus that you're more likely to die on than anyone else. So just take your time and plan your jumps. Time your jumps wisely, basically. See, he's just waiting for me to get up there, so I'm just gonna try poking my head up. Come on. Come at me. There we go. This is where the dodge is gonna probably come in handy the most. So just take a crouch, dodge, because it's a lot like the SWAT turn from, um... At this point, it's a lot like the SWAT turn from, um... 
Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow. This is how you're going to get, get between those, between these, these barriers right here. Yes, you can run, but it's safer to just do that, that roll, especially in places like this, because you don't want to, you don't want to worry about jumping in. You don't want to worry about overshooting, and if you're rolling, there's no way that you're going to clear it enough so that you can overshoot and he's going to send you back. Hmm. See, that's not good, because I'm looking at the uh, the preview screen on for my capture card and it looks like it's not quite as bright as I'm seeing on my screen right here, but it's only really going to be an issue with the tunnels. Um, if it does keep being as bad as it is, I'll just pause it and change the brightness. So, now we don't have to worry here because we do have a wall between us, but... Oh, shoot. We almost fell right there because I was being an idiot and not paying attention to the screen. But what you're going to have to do here is, again, just do the... Just do the swap turns. Just do the rolling and you'll be all set. Yeah, just give me one second. I'm just going to turn up the brightness. Alright, that's better. Okay, you should be able to see it now. Um... At least better than it was before. Um, if it, I still don't really like it, but at least you can actually make out the walls where it looked like a little bit earlier. You, you wouldn't be able to even make that out. Now, before we actually go up here, it, okay, we do have the, we do have the little overhang above us. Now I believe there is another way that you can go that's on the left side from those barriers to get here, and that will bring you out right there. And ow! Yeah, see, like I told you, he's gonna send you flying. We just got knocked back a ridiculous amount. And not even the same in the same direction that we got knocked back. We slid. Um, try... Okay. He's still pretty far away. So what we're gonna want to do here is there's two ways we can go. We can either go up, and there should be barriers up there, or, yeah, see, there's barriers up there, or we can go down this, this, uh, channel, uh, trench, thank you, that was the term I was looking for, we can go down this trench here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, because you can still see what happens with the trench from up here, plus, Oh wait, that's right. The trench isn't actually there to go anywhere. The trench is just in case you do get hit, because at this point they figured they'd be nice. And, well, if we got hit earlier on, we'd be sent pretty much almost all the way to the, to the beginning again. So I guess what they were thinking here is, oh, hey, they're already almost at the guy's feet. Why send him all the way back? Let's not be total dicks right now. Alright, you are, as you can see, I'm not going to be, I am not doing the little roll right here. That's going to be because I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh, come on. We were almost there. This is probably one of the hardest parts of getting to him, this little gap right here, because it is a little bit, a bit wider than what we're used to. It's two rolls, not just the one. So it's going to take a little more finesse to get past than those earlier barriers. Alright, you going to shoot me? Come on, I need you to shoot me first. Because he should shoot me if I just pop up my head right there. Alright, there we go. Oh, come on. Because I don't want to jump and have him hit me. Because then we're not making any headway at all. There we go. Come on. Alright, we're good. Run. Oh, almost got it that time too. Alright, if I have to, I'm just gonna cut to the one that actually makes it. Because this might take a while. If I'm not lucky, because that's pretty much what it boils down to. If I just time it, if I'm just lucky enough with the timing. Come on, come on get up there. I know you can. I've had you get up harder things than that. 
Yeah, apparently that after we beat this guy, there's still a, some stuff left, like the time trials that I was talking about and other stuff. There we go. Um, that wasn't bad at all. Now, from here, there's that drop that we can go down. I believe there's also a way that you can go over here. Or not. Okay, no big deal then. We'll just drop down. I don't believe we can actually make that, so... Ow! That's new, actually. Um, usually that's not a problem getting over to that, because what's right there? Well, we're in anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of time trial stuff that can get you different items, and different unlockables. There's also a bunch of the lizards and fruit that I haven't gotten, and there's something else. There's a garden that you can get to. And now we're here at his feet, so... I'm gonna leave you guys here and meet you back in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and this is me, Oaksville. See you next time.